Loss of the voluntary muscular control while preserving cognitive functions is a common symptom of neuromuscular diseases, leading to a variety of functional deficits, including the ability to operate conventional interfaces like mouse, keyboard or touchscreens. As a result, the affected individuals are marginalized and unable to keep up with the rest of the society in a digitized world. The MAMEM project developed novel interfaces that can be controlled through eye movement and mental commands using eye tracking and EEG devices. More specifically, we have implemented the Giza Web Browser, a custom-made browser that builds upon the Chromium framework and substitutes basic browser functionalities with interaction elements that can be operated through eye gaze and EEG signals. Moreover, it enables dynamic modification on the way web page content is displayed to the user, augmenting it to be operated through the eyes. Gears the Web has the capability of augmenting many different kinds of websites, performing browsing, photo editing, social media sharing, messaging, or multimedia reproduction. Furthermore, Gaze the Web has been coupled with Lab Streaming Layer that is able not to only simultaneously collect the signals coming from the eye tracker, the EG recorder and the GSR device, but also synchronizes them with the events that are taking place on the computer screen of the user. In combining the different modalities under a paradigm of multimodal interaction, the EG and GSR signals were primarily used to compensate for the shortcomings of the eye tracker, either by using brainwaves to switch between reading and navigation mode, or to perform automatic error correction in a gaze-based keyboard. To introduce a novel assistive device into the everyday life of our end-users, we have used persuasion strategies for engagement. We have gamified the process of training the end-users on operating our system, bringing it down into levels of varying difficulty so as to accommodate both for users without prior experience and users who have used assistive technologies in the past. Users could only proceed to the next level after they had acquired a certain skill, which was ensured by prompting them to redo a level until they reached a sufficient score, based on completion time and failures. Further gamification elements were integrated in the training experience of our users, including trophies, a way to recognize player accomplishments within a social group, scoreboards comparing performance against previous runs, leaderboards comparing performance between players, and assignments, short-term objectives shaping the gameplay narrative. In Phase 1 of MAMEM Trials, our goal was to have our end-user testing the developed algorithms and interfaces. Three cohorts of Parkinson's disease, neuromuscular disorder and spinal cord injury were put to the task, consisting of six patient and six able-bodied subjects that were matched in terms of gender and age, executing an experimental protocol of approximately five to eight hours. The first part of the experimental process was for the user to learn how to use the Gaze Web Browser using only the eyes. This part was gamified according to persuasive design principles, making the experience enjoyable for our subjects. In the second part of the process, the user was asked to perform two EEG-related exercises by wearing the EEG cap. Initially, the user was tasked with typing some phrases through the GGW keyboard using the eyes. The EEG cap blocked the brainwaves emitted when a typing error was performed so that the system could deploy autocorrection measures based on the detection of brain signals stimulated by the error, the so-called error-related potentials. The second EEG-related exercise was intended to train the end-users in regulating their ability to issue mental commands for switching between the reading and navigation mode of Case the Web. More specifically, the users were asked to move the left or right hand in the form of a fist clench using both real and imaginary movements, while the bar was used to provide feedback about the actual result of the mental command. In the third part of the process, the subjects were asked to perform a number of ordinary tasks, such as sending an email, editing a picture, tweeting a message, and playing a video on YouTube. In undertaking these tasks, the conventional web pages were dynamically enhanced through Gears the Web to facilitate smooth interaction with the user's eyes. During the execution of these tasks, the EEG and GSR sensors were operational, capturing the generated signals for future analysis. The last part of the process consisted of repeating the EEG-rated exercises using a lightweight version of the EEG and eye tracking sensors, simulating the conditions of home use. Throughout the whole process, the subjects answered a number of questionnaires, asking them to assess the effectiveness of persuasion strategies, the system usability and user satisfaction, 
as well as the commercialization potential of our system. Overall, the whole experiment process went smoothly, as participants from various demographics were intrigued by the Giza web browser and how its use tackled with interface obstacles they encounter in their daily lives. They were also positively surprised on how easily they could perform social media actions through ordinary web applications that were enhanced by Gazer Web, and they showed a remarkable interest and eagerness to take part in the EEG-related exercises.